Hey there guys, this is MGS Warrior 2, back with another part of my Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. Okay, so today I need to level up my Dale, because I wanted to get Dale ready for the uh, Doofer Gym. I'll be taking on Brawly um, sometime soon. So Dale's gonna need all the experience you could get, because it's strong against fighting. And I also want to take off the Quick Claw from Ziggy so that I could pick up items again. And I think I'll give the Quick Claw to Dale instead. Alright, it's time to gain some more experience. I didn't finish battling all the trainers yet here, and there's just one more I think. I study at school and I study on the way home too. Well, aren't you the... Uh, Super geek. So school kid Karen would like to battle. She has a Shroomish at level 9. I'm gonna send out my Dale. I'm gonna go for a super effective Stab Poison Sting. And it should be a 3 at KO. Fortunately Shroomish got off its Stun Spore and Dale is now paralyzed. So I may not be able to move. And uh, Shroomish is now faster. I'm gonna go into my bag and cure it with a paralyzed heal so that I won't be able to feel any of its effects. Uh, Shroomish is going for the tackle attack, so I'm gonna go for another poison sting here. And I do get the poison on it. Oh, unfortunately, I went for another stun spore. So that is so annoying. Now I have to cure it once more. So I will use one of the cherry berries I picked up because they do cure paralysis. As it goes for the absorb, quad versus uh, grass. And now I'm just gonna finish it with a tackle. So your shroomish has been defeated, school kid Karen. So here is her Whismur. I will leave Dale in. This time I will go for... Oh, let me see how much a Poison Sting will do. Uh, it doesn't do a whole lot as expected. But it started an uproar, so I better be careful. Now it's, I'll go for the Confusion. That did a lot more. Now it's uproaring for the second time in a row and hopefully this confusion finishes it and it does that was great so that was a nice experience for Dale she seems to be in shock she lost I guess because she got overconfident because she studies so much it is not good to be overconfident ladies and gentlemen so alright I will uh, pick up this either and go ahead and pick up all these berries pin app berries I'm not sure what they do actually well uh, I think those are just some poke block ingredients so some more chesto berries and here's two more so uh, after my berry picking, I'm going to go into the tunnel to confront uh, Team Aqua Goon that ran off with the uh, Devon Goods. So as you recall from last time, I was chasing him down. Didn't quite reach him yet because I had a lot to do last time. So I am good to go here. Uh, bef before I do anything else, I will heal up my Dale with a potion. Oh, looks like Ziggy already picked, it, picked up an item, so let's see what it is. I got a full heal. Thank you, Ziggy. There's, oh, what am I to do? We're on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Roar, Pico! So that's not good. Uh, we better save that guy's Pico from that goon. Ray found one X special, so that is nice. 
Oh yeah, so as you can see from these holes in the walls, or indent, you'll be able to make your, uh, your, yeah, you'll be able to create a secret base, but more on that once we get there. So we're in the Rust Turf Tunnel, and before I uh, walk up to the goon, I'll pick up that item, but I have an uh, encounter here with a Whismer. So since it's the first encounter in the Rosturf Tunnel, um, I'll be able to catch this Whismer. In fact, I have to for Nuzlocke rules. And the confusion did about half. Now it's using an uproar. So I'll go for Poison Sting. And a bit, I believe it is weakened enough for me to use a Pokeball. So go Pokeball go! So uh, I got th this Whismer. It's the Whisper Pokemon, very timid. If it starts to cry loudly, it becomes startled by its own crying and cries even harder. When it finally stops crying, Pokemon goes to sleep all tired out. So there is only one fitting nickname that I can come up for this Whismer. And that is Crybaby. I think that name's perfect for it. Uh, what's its nature? Let me see. It has modest nature, which is actually pretty good because it raises special attack. It's also holding a Chesto Berry. Go ahead and move around Uproar, so move it to the top spot. And uh, take away Chesto Berry. And let's hurry to this item, which is a Pokeball. So I just got back, just got back the Pokeball that I just used. So here we go. What? Are you coming? Come and get some then. Well, why'd you back away from me if you're daring me to come get some? Grrr! Kill all it all. That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless, and to think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey you, so you want to battle me? Damn right I want to battle you. There's no way you're um, stealing that guy's Pico. So here we go. Team Aqua Grunt, you're going to use your Poochiena just like you did last time. That's fine by me. I'm going to go ahead and use the Poison Sting. We're going to have a rematch of our battle in the Petalburg Woods. But now my Dale is a Dust Tox instead of a Cascoon. So what are you going to do now, Poochiena? So, uh, thanks to the sand attack, poison sting miss. It's trying to learn, um, not trying to learn how. It just used howl. So, shades of what happened um, in Petalburg Woods. So, uh, I think I will switch to Ziggy before it raises its attack too high. Now it's going for sand attack, and now Ziggy has a minus one accuracy. So I would try a headbutt, and it flinched, and that was pretty cool, because that prevented it from attacking, and the poison killed it off. So Dale and Ziggy both gained experience, now Ziggy grew to level 10, which is cool. I defeated Team Aqua Grunt so fast. Erg, my career in crime comes to a dead end. Well, that's too bad. This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devin. You wanted that badly? Take it. Alright, so I got the Devin goods back and he runs off like a scaredy cat. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. Pico owes her life to you. So I guess as a female wingle, they call me Mr. Briny and you are? Ah, so you're a Ray. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico. We should make our way home. 
Okay. So, uh, there is some breakable rocks in the way, so we can't go any further in Rust Earth Tunnel, so we will escape, but not until we run into a wild Pokemon, and it's another Whismur. Um, so why not? I'll gain some experience off this Whismur. I'm gonna go for the Confusion, and that did about half, so I'm gonna be 2 hit KO'd here to the Confusion. And that's some experience for Dale. So now I'm out of Rust Earth Tunnel. Time to return to Devon Goods back to its owner. I will take this route so I can avoid the tall grass. Oh wait, I forgot to go in this house because it's not blocked by this guy anymore. To get to Verdant Turf without using this tunnel, you'd have to cross a sea to Dewford, sail on the slate board, then travel through Mauville. Oh, that's a long road. That Rust Turf tunnel there. At first we had a huge work crew boring through rock with the latest machinery, but we had to stop. It turns out that we would have had a negative effect on wild Pokemon in the area, so we've got nothing to do but lull around here doing nothing. Gee, wow, that sounds really boring. There's a man digging his way to Verdant Turf all by his lonesome. He's desperate to get through. He says that if he digs little by little without using machines, he won't disturb Pokemon, and he'll avoid harming the natural environment. Well, that is very smart of him. He doesn't want to disturb the Whismur, who is sensitive to sound. So he wants to dig without machines. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to cut my way through so I can jump off the ledge. Better go to the Devon uh, building. But first I gotta return this guy's goods. Oh, how did it go? The Devon goods. You did it. You got them back. You really care. I mean, you really are a great trainer. I know, as my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Alright, so another great ball to add to my collection. Excuse me, please. Please come with me. Oh. Fast shortcut. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. By the way, that parcel you got back for us, could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. So, uh, could I count on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here a second? So, uh, looks like I have another errand to run to deliver the uh, goods to Slateport. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport Shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. So I obtained a letter for Stephen. Looks like I have another errand to run on my to-do list. Now, you should know that I am a great president, so I'd never be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. So he gave me a Pokénav. Th that device, it's a Pokémon Navigator, or Pokénav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of Duford and Slateport easily. Well, I should be on my way then. Thank you, Mr. President, for the cool Pokénav. I don't think these um, Devon workers have in anything interesting to say, so I'm just going to leave them alone. I'm going to go ahead and leave. And, um, oh, I thought I was supposed to get a call from the president down here. Sounds like they recovered the ripped off Devon goods. Yep, you're right. So there's the Pokénav. And it has the map of the Hoenn region, like the president said. You can check your, the condition of your Poke my party Pokemon. 
and most of these um, things like cool beauty and stuff is for contests. So better raise those for contests. Trainer's eyes. Uh, you get to find out which trainers would like a rematch. And that's basically it. So I will m move on. Go to the Pokemon Center first. And we gotta go to Doofer, that's our ne next destination. We gotta deliver the letter there first before going to Slateport. So we gotta ask um, Pico's owner for a favor. We need to go to Doofert. So we better take his ship. Oh, it's May. Oh, hi, Ray. How's your Pokedex coming along? Mine's looking pretty decent. I caught Pokemon in Petalburg Woods until I ran out of Pokeballs. Oh, I thought she wanted to battle me. I'm disappointed. So, uh, we get to use Cut on some of these bushes, so go ahead and use it. My Ziggy, there's an item waiting for me. Picked up an X Accuracy. Go ahead and stow that in the bag. And there is also a cuttable um, tree um, bush here in Petalburg Woods. I'll go ahead and cut it down. Let's see if I have any repels to use. Nope, don't have any repels, so it looks like I'm going to be running into wild Pokemon in here, so I'll go try to go through it as quick as possible. Picked up a tiny mushroom hidden in the ground. I don't know what it's good for. Oh, so here's a lady. Oh, neat, that's the badge from Rustboro Gym. You must be a trainer. You should try using this item. So she gave me the Miracle Seed, which is a hold item which raises slightly boosts the power of Grass-type moves. So I, I should put that on my Love or my Geico. And I think I will put it on Love. I'd love to raise the power slightly of Bullet Seed. So let's see what else I could find here. There's another item. It's a Great Ball. So I got two Great Balls in this uh, episode, and that is awesome. So there must be some other goodies I could find here, but that's it. Oh wait, there is. Uh, I can jump this ledge. I thought I'd already been down there, but I guess I didn't. Here's a wild zigzagoon. Here comes Dale. I'll just take it out. Because Dale is about to go up to level 12. So zigzagoon's going for Tail Whip. And now another confusion will annihilate the Zigzagoon. So Dale grew to level 12, which is nice. So there's probably this last item here to pick up, which is an X attack. So I'll keep going. And yep, that's it for that little back shortcut there. And this is Mr. Briny's cottage, so he's chasing his Pico around, so I better um, have a word with him. To do that, I have to get in front of him, but that's kind of a little annoying because he's just chasing around his Pico, I have to get in front of him. Hey, slow down! He's awfully fast for an old man. So I will pace myself. Hey, hey. Okay, there. Hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Hmm, you're right. You saved my darling Pico. We owe you so much to you. What's that you want to sail with me? Hmm, you have a letter bound for Duford and a package for Slateport then. Quite the busy life you must lead. But certainly what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man. We'll set sail for Duford. Sounds like a plan. Doofer, here we come. Anchors away. Pico, we're setting sail, my darling. Alright, this is fun. I'm sailing. And I am right here in Doofer. 
Ahoy, we fit land in Duford. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to who is it now, Stephen? Alright, so now that we landed in Duford and it's already 20 minutes, I will uh, end things here and save my Duford adventures for next video. So, Alright, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, like, sub, and see you guys next time.